welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom. This is my channel all about crochet and knitting and a general yarny goodness. I usually um, post or upload a vlog every Sunday, so make sure you hit subscribe so that you can see them coming out. If you're returning, hey tribe, welcome back. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. Let's get started. Although, did I mention social media? I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Patreon, I'm on Ravelry, I'm HD Designs Crochet everywhere, but Twitter, I'm HD Designs Crow, C R O. Right, okay, today is all about sock surgery. Yes, sock surgery. Um, so in my last vlog, last week, I vlogged about magic and the magic that was in my life in socks, in the books I was reading, in general moments, and I showed you a sock that I was working on. And that sock is down here in a pile. So now that sock just means it's toe grafting and then it's done. Um, I need some fancy sock blockers to show you these properly, but we'll just make do. Um, so this is the dotty sock pattern by Potter and Bloom, Emma of Potter and Bloom. Look at that pattern. This is sock number one. I've done them one at a time and they're cuffed down. Um, and it's a free pattern on her blog. And then for the yarn, I've used this amazing sparkle. Check that out. I'm just like, I'm mesmerized watching it. Oh, token. Um, it is this marigold color. It's by Homespun Wonders. Um, I'm trying to think who got their tag from Etsy. They are based in Yorkshire and I brought this yarn well over a year ago to make a pair of socks and as I said in my last vlog, um, my ideas got frogged, patterns have started got frogged and I finally settled on these. So that's sock number one and I have actually started sock number two. Yes I have. And the heel has already gone in, so I'm now just on the foot. Um, I am finding these really, really enjoyable. They're really simple to do, um, but the pattern, the texture keeps you going. Um, you just think, oh, just do one more row, one more row, one more row. And before you know it, you've done the, almost the second sock. Um, I think I... I just can't think when I cast this on, but it's not took me long at all. Um, and I haven't really been giving myself designated knitting or crochet time um, because of other real life things going on. But what I have been doing is, like now, I pick it up and I just put a row on. Um, I've been doing a couple rows in the morning on the bus. Um, I do a few rows every morning when I wake up before I do anything. Um, and then if I'm waiting for something or I'm on hold or whatever, if I can, then I take out this and I just put a few rows on it, um, waiting for class to start and things like that. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, so much so that they're actually going to be done soon and I'm going to have to think of what I'm going to do next. Well, I have been thinking of what I'm going to do next. In terms of dream knitting, I've already said in my previous vlog that I would like to um, cast on some more socks because I have a lot of sock yarn. A lot is an understatement. Um, and I was putting out designs, out, putting out, bandying around designs such as Fluorite, um, Hermione's Everyday Sock, and I was asking for pattern suggestions as well. Um, so, 
Now that these are almost done, I do feel like I am very close to my second cast on. Um, so you can see I've got that much knitting left to do. Oh, I'm so close. And then I've got to graft the toe, something that I've never done before. And there's my heels. Um, I found with the heels, and maybe somebody out there that's a little bit more seasoned than me can help. The heel in one of this one of the rows is knit one slip one and then on the next row you purl it and I don't know how to count the rows when I've done that and so I don't think I well I know I didn't do enough rows because when it came to pick up stitches there wasn't enough to pick up um I think that's the reason so my questions how do I count these stitches I think I'm gonna have to YouTube it and then also on the heel, you can see it a bit better on this one. Can you see that there? I don't like that. What have I done? It's on both, but it's more pronounced on, on one than the other. So I need to sit with the pattern and work out what stitch, at which point I'm causing that to happen. So if anybody has any ideas or can point me in the direction of a tutorial, then let me know because I am almost tempted to rip them both back and redo the heels for that little for that sole reason because the heels need to be strong and if they're not then I'm gonna end up having to darn these at some point so yeah that needs fixing um, ideas on a postcard please but yes other than that I'm really pleased with them um, I've took the stitch markers off that one and it's now on here and it's my homemade dream plaque it never shows up Heather can you see it says dream because these are my magic socks um, and yeah just that bit to go as I said I've never kitchened a toe before I've never grafted a toe and I want to practice before I do it on these, supposing I don't rip it back and take out that bit. So I started thinking on what I could practice on and I remembered this old whip. So I've got this sock, it's a boot sock. It's the Winniewick Mums um, Aaron Simple Sock Pattern. And the yarn I'm using is this and it's just a simple rose blush glitter DK that I got from a pound shop um, it's not of any great quality and the sock being shoved in and out of project bags has already started to really badly fluff up so I don't think you can see it can you see can you see that fuzz then again it could just be the way the yarn is it doesn't mean it's a bad quality I guess but um, I'm not holding out much hope that these are going to last me forever which is a bit of a shame but we'll see should jump to conclusions um, I was making these socks around the time that my niece turned two because I remember knitting them whilst, whilst we were driving down there I was a passenger obviously <coughs> excuse me okay and I still haven't finished them. This second one is here and what I did is when I when I was knitting them I didn't have this one with me and so I wasn't sure how many rows I'd done before I needed to start the heel and I'd knitted too far down. So I've actually ripped and I think I then actually put the heel in and they were kind of like this. Um, so I've ripped it back as you can see so that needs the heel going in and then again another toe kitchening. So what I propose to do is finish the dotty socks up to the point where the toes need grafting. Finish this one that the toes need grafting. Practice doing the toes on these two, then go and do these two. Then I will have two pairs of socks. So I'm getting yarn everywhere. <laughs> sock surgery so I need to finish and I need to graft um, 
these socks aren't too far apart. I just this is ready to put the heel in, and I've already I'm already on the slot on that one. I am gonna. <clears throat> oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. I am going to finish this sock first before I come to this one. I am going to finish this sock before I finish this one and I'm going to have to familiarise myself with this pattern again. Now let's put some of this away because I'm getting into a right tangle. Um, I am... Okay, sock one done. I've just put that on some double pointed needles because I've ran out of... Um, stitch keepers or whatever they're called because they're on other projects and then this one and then whilst I was looking at old whips and sock whips and what I could practice on I then realised that I have other socks waiting for a bit of surgery, so let's put these away. Um, on these I'm knitting in 2.5s and on oof, the pink ones I'm using No, it doesn't seem to show. They're quite a bit thicker though. I bet they were 3.5. It did say on the cables, but I've worn it off. I'm going to go with a 3 mil, but it could be 3.5. And the stitch mark on that one says, I love knitting. And the stitch mark on this one. Is a little pair of stork scissors and they've got I don't know why I put two lots of stitch keepers on there um, and then that was 250 gram balls of yarn which I am keeping in this project bag which was made for me by Isabel of the English lady spinner and it's a school print wristlet bag so you can walk and knit and it's got a matching school print Ooh, wrong direction stitch marker don't know why I'm struggling to find my camera today so pink socks are living in there put them back in So that'll be two pairs of socks and then dotty socks are just living in a Primark Grammys makeup bag which because it's got a zip I can then just chuck in my bag for work and bus journeys. Then living in this project bag which is another one by Isabel, another um, school print with the same stitch marker. is my other socks which I've took out and put on the floor. These also have a little pocket on the inside which means I can put usually a measuring tape or a, um, a little crochet hook in case I drop a stitch. So I've got two more pairs of socks that need sock surgery and they are actually finished. So this pair I did earlier in the year um, and I used just a simple vanilla sock pattern. I'm gonna say maybe the Liat Gat. Probably murdered that name. I think I used that two at a time and toe up, so there's no sewing needed. But, well, we'll get onto the problem. Let me tell you the yarn first. This yarn is Autumn Riches by Truly Hooked, Verity of Truly Hooked. 
and it's sparkly. Can you see the sparkle? I've got no idea what you can see. And it's, is this speckled? I think it's speckled yarn. Um, and it's like a, a cream base, but it's got lots of greys, purples, turquoises and flecks of yellow in there, which is really, really nice. And I made an entire pair of socks, which I'm really, really pleased with. And they look so dinky. <laughs> I only have dinky feet and I don't really like my um, leg and cuff to come up too high and I either make really really short um, a really really short cuff ribbing or really really long like on the dotty socks I don't like the medium normal ones um, but when it came to casting them off I did it too tight and there's no stretch and I can't actually get them on so my job is to recast them on and cast them off so that they're stretchy so I can wear them and sew the ends in. Surely it's a two minute job, but I'm pretty sure I made these last December and I still haven't got around to it. So that's another sock surgery. And then I will have three pairs of socks. And then with this pair, this pair I was making Maybe this, yes, January. These are called my January Blues socks. So, these socks are a mishmash of my blue leftovers because I was stash diving. So you've got the toes cuffs, again, a very long cuff in comparison. I've got the toes, heels and cuffs in the Autumn Riches by Truly Hooked. Then I've got some commercial sock yarn. I think it was Opal, which is self-striping for the foot, um, which is what I made my first ever pair of socks out of. And then I've got for the leg, um, some more commercial yarn. This is Drops Fable, which I made a pair of socks out of for my boss and I've got some left over. And I was just gonna squish them all together. And I've done both socks, they were toe up two at a time again, so they match perfectly. But, and it's a big but, again my heels are awful. They're so much better in my new pair. Um, and they were fine on this pair, but I'm not really keen on the way that the heel fits. So maybe rather than recast and finish, maybe I need to, I can't even try them on. Maybe I need to frog completely. <laughs> oh, I've got them on. So they don't fit too badly. How am I gonna do this? It's not gonna work. They don't fit too badly. Um, but I wanted to try, to try different types of heels. Um, so yeah, I think they can stay. They just need the, the cast off sorting out. It's stuck, ow. <laughs> oh dear. It's off. Um, but this pair, the heels are awful. <clears throat> so, they look cute, but can you see that? <clears throat> uh oh, this could be dangerous. Can you see that? They're too big and they've got a whole flap there. So what I did on these socks, where did the other one go? <clears throat> I tried a different heel and I can't tell you which one I tried, it was a free pattern and when it came to picking up the stitches I was absolutely awful, can you see those holes? Look at that. 
Now I'm just going to say these are a practice pair and it's fine. And what I'm going to do is rip them back because there is no point me sewing them up. They don't fit very well. They, um, I think this one fits a bit better. Yeah, so this one fits much better. It doesn't have the platypus nose. But I can't I can't do with the holes because they're just not gonna they're just not gonna last. I'm gonna have to repair them and it's a waste of really, really nice yarn. And then I might change it so that I just don't I'm just not keen on the mishmash of the two yarns. I don't know, what do you think? Um, I am inclined to rip it back and do an entire pair out of this because I don't have socks with this yarn um, and then maybe put navy, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of keeping ripping this out and keeping that this yarn for another project and then doing something with my scraps to make another pair. I don't because I just I'm just not keen on them. So what's the point if you're not keen on them? You can't spend all that time making something and not like them. So that's a practice pair of socks that are gonna be sacrificed. And once they are remade, that will be four pairs of socks. So there's quite a bit of sock surgery to do there. Um I think the bit that I'm So I've got to learn how to graft a toe, how to recast on, and then I'm going to decide what to do with these socks. I think recasting on will be a two minute job. I'm a little bit nervous about grafting toes because it can't be that difficult. Um, but then once all those are done, well I say once, realistically I'd like to finish all these socks and then cast on a new pair. But I think I'm probably going to just cast on a new pair once the dotty socks are up to the toe because this is me. And it's not like I've got a shortage of sock yarn. So these are all my minis. They look so beautiful. That I have got. So that's all indie dyed sock yarn. And this is all my leftovers and my commercial sock yarn. And I actually need to put the minis in here to protect them now. So with these socks, just some of the leftovers that I've used in the foot. Let's put something down. Can you see? And that is what I made my first pair of socks out of. And again, the heels weren't the greatest. Um, then I've got leftover navy and I made my boss a pair of these with the navy so there's definitely some combinations to be had and then I've got leftovers of this the, the bit that I've made the leg out of but there's probably not enough to make a whole pair of socks so I just think I'm going to rescue the autumn riches take that out and use some of the darker blues and I'm probably just going to use a combination of these three to make socks. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's put these back. And then, in terms of other sock yarn, I've got three balls of undyed cream. Well, natural cream rather. Uh, this is the Homespun Wonders. Tag, and that is where I got the dotty sock yarn from, the marigold. I've got a tiny little bit of blue as a scrap, not a scrap, sample, sorry, to try. And then, oh, if we're going to talk about sock surgery, I started these socks and these were what I was knitting on in the Edinburgh Yarn Festival back in March. And I didn't like the heels, I hate the way the heels have turned out, so I've stopped. The heels need frogging, they need buzzing back in, the legs need doing, then I'll have a pair of socks. What is it with heels? Maybe rather than calling this sock surgery, I'm going to call it the hell that is heels. Something like that. <laughs> um, I've stuffed the yarn in there for them at the moment so they don't get tangled. 
I've got leftovers for my Christmas socks. I'm thinking for these that I will have leftovers in my lacy fern socks. Oh my goodness, I've got more socks on the go. So I sat down to do this vlog and thought I've got four pairs of socks on the go. I've got the dotty socks, I've got the pink boot socks, I've got um, the truly hooked verity socks that need recasting on, and I've got my scrap socks, and then I've just found an abandoned pair in here. This is o Opal, I think, and it's a self-striping yarn. And then I remembered my lacy fern socks as well, which is a pattern that I'm working on myself. <laughs> so that's what, six pairs of socks on the go. So this is my lacy fern sock pattern. It's a pattern that I was designing myself. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's, that's so beautiful. Um, and the reason why I stopped, I couldn't pick a heel. I, I don't have a heel that I enjoy using, as you can tell, because that's what's the problem with all of my socks. So, I am on the hunt for the perfect heel. Look at that. These have got two stitch markers on, um, number one being the Mermaid scale stitch marker made for me by Esme's Buttons, and then I've got a cross there. Oh, I really, really like them. I want to get them finished. So I've already took the picture for the front of this. These are 2.5 mils by the way, seems to be my go-to. Um, and they're my knit pro zings, which are great to work on. So I've already taken my screenshot picture of me holding like the other four socks, and then I've not even added these or my other pink ones in. Oh dear, I absolutely love this. What do you think then? So I designed it, it's got a cable going up here. And it's also got this eyelet design down the centre. Um, and I am going to put heels in and then I'm going to do the cable and the eyelet the whole way round the sock. Good job I wrote down what I was doing because it's been so long since I was working on them. So again, I need... Look at that yarn bar. I need... Um, Heels. Heels. I need heels. The yarn I'm using here is this green and it's called Fern and again it's by Homespun Wonders and it was for my Christmas subscription box last year um, and I decided I was going to make my own socks and then I got a bit disheartened because I thought, oh, this is a Christmas colour, so I only want to wear it for Christmas. But you can wear green any time. And then also, I couldn't find a heel that I'm happy with. So I think I might invest in the Fish Lips Kiss heel, because I've heard a lot of people say things about that. But if there's any other sock knitters out there that can recommend a good heel that fits, and that I'm not going to bodge up, that has good tutorials, that'd be really helpful. Um, because all five of my six pairs of socks I've got on the go, the heel is a stumbling block. But as I was saying, with this green, I was thinking if whatever is left over, I would make a pair of socks. Because I've got... It must be just under 50 grams, if not 50 grams, just under 50 grams of yarn there. So they could make another pair of Christmas socks. Um, though I wasn't that keen on that yarn because it's got a heavy acrylic content. 
they weren't very warm or comfy my feet felt quite sweaty and clammy in them but they're Christmas socks I'm not gonna wear them all year round anyway so but again that's another pair that I feel could have fitted better I'm definitely looking for more sock recipes I might have to look into sock petition because he does more recipes maybe I've got weird shaped feet or something I don't know that's the fern that could be made the let there will be leftovers without a doubt because from a hundred grams gain I only need 50 grams to make myself a pair of socks I've just found another progress keeper attached to all this yarn that's going on a dotty sock and the lacy fern are living in the project bag that I made for myself out of um, pro shaped squares and then I put a zip and I even lined it and it's got stitch markers on the zip should I need them it's got an anchor and another dream and then I've got my Edinburgh Yarn Festival my Yarndale my yak badge and then I've got vegan in training vegan is a state of kind so disclaimer I'm not really vegan anymore but that's another vlog and 10 points to Gryffindor so sock surgery <laughs> started this with four pairs of socks I've now got six pairs of socks to finish that's crazy um these might get frogged I'm just not that keen on them I never have been but then I don't know if it's because the yarn feels a bit scratchy I think I've been spoiled and I love my indie dyed yarn too much um, but all they need are some proper heels then I was gonna say it won't take me long to finish those four and then I'm gonna cast on to something else but now I've got six to finish um, I wanted to cast something else on using these and I wanted to use the fluorite pattern which is a find your fade and I was going to sit and work out proper combinations with this little lot um, and I was going to go with like a really bright pink toe and then go through the colour combos and just fade it out to something really light but then part of me doesn't want to use my minis because they're so beautiful and I definitely will not be using them until I am happy with the heels and the fit of a pair of socks um, which is quite difficult I don't want to waste them and I don't want to have to keep frogging and, and wreck the yarn but I'm, I'd like to give the fluorite pair a go and also the Hermione's Everyday Sock um, I do have a mini, uh, not a mini, a 50 gram skein here of Five Moons um, hand painted yarn and it's Luna Plus 4, four ply solids um, 75% supermarine, superwash merino, 25% nylon and it's atomic strawberry and it's hand dyed in Devon it's so bright and I was thinking of maybe making Hermione's everyday socks in those I just don't feel like Hermione is a bright pink girl but there's so many combinations within this tub um, and then I've got some more commercial sock yarn to use up but my only thing is is I'm never really keen on the finished texture have I been spoiled <laughs> this has got 75% virgin wool and 25% polyamide in it polyamide 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 so this one is grundle hot sock and it's this purples and blues and navy and lighter blue and there's a bit of lilac and it works up like that um, and I've got this drops delight which looks like a fluffy sari 
looks like a fluffy Asian fire. Very nice. And that is, again, 75% wool, 25% polymide. Polymide? Polymide? Come on, guys, help me out. And that's Drops Delight. It is a super wash day, so maybe I might like it. So, sock surgery. I was going to tell you all about the full I'm doing and that I'm definitely going to cast a pair on. But now, it's turned into, I've got six pairs of socks to remedy and rescue and make good. And once they're good, you're going to see more socks. Um, but I am pleased that I've just reminded myself, because these live on my bookshelf, They've just slipped my mind, but I'm really pleased that I've remembered them. There's a pattern. Oh, nice. Right, so that's sock surgery. The vlog where Heather reminded herself that she's got so many pairs of socks on the go. It's a good job I'm finding so much magic out of them. So I am going to wrap it up here to say that you can never have too many pairs of socks. <laughs> you never have too many pairs of socks on the needle. And that I'm going to be finishing some of these at some point. that makes me so happy. Let's get the last pair out. Wow. Okay, yeah, they all need finishing. Suck surgery, guys. If you've got any heel recommendations, hit me up. And I promise there will be some crochet at some point. I do have a crochet sock that I've started. So technically I've got seven pairs of socks. Oh good lord. This is a crochet sock using Grundle Hop Sock Drops Fable in the solid colour which is like a fuchsia pink and I'm using a Vicky Brown's sock design. So seven pairs of socks on the go guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're here for the crochet Go back to my um, homepage and there's a whole playlist of crochet. Um, if you enjoy knitting then I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, press like and subscribe and I'll see you again in a week's time for some more sock surgery. Happy making! Thank you.